Hello everyone, welcome back to another Slice Melon video. My name is Kieran, also known as Sorinki, and in this video, Blake, the head designer at Slice Melon, is going to show you how to create a simple code UI in Photopea. So now he's creating a new project, and you just want to copy his settings so that you can get it perfect and make sure your background is transparent as well. Then hit create, and just wait for it to load. And now that it's loaded, you're just going to copy what he does. Okay. And then you just go to your paint bucket tool and fill the background in black. Then make a new layer. Swap those colors around. Get your rectangle tool and make a rectangle. Make the fill white. And then you're just going to move that into the center. Turn on transform controls. And then hit OK. Now that you've done that, you're just going to go and change the corner radius. Never mind, you are going to make a rectangle again. And then center it. Make sure your corner radius is on, then make a duplicate of that rectangle. Scale it in. And scale it like that. Then you're going to go and um, get your color picker and make it blue. Or whatever color you want to make it. Then just adjust the scaling yet again. Turn on a gradient overlay in your blending options, set it to overlay, then copy his actual settings for the gradient, then add a stroke, copy his settings again, so you're going to make that um, 7. Then put it as a dark blue for the color. Now that you've done that, add a drop shadow. Copy the settings that he's doing yet again to set that to normal. Make it a dark blue. Turn the spread up, the size down, and the distance down. And then change the angle to 90 degrees. Then hit OK. And change your stroke to be a smaller size. Play around with these settings. Copy what Blake is doing. Now add a stroke to your frame. And a drop shadow to your frame. Then just scale the frame down. Just the scaling of your header. Then duplicate it. Scale it down again. And this is going to be our X button. So scale it by the corners to make it have the same proportions. Then just get rid of the drop shadow. And then change this to red. I like to do a pinkish red, not a full red. Then just move it along. Put it where you think is appropriate. As you can see, the frame is coming together. Okay, so now you're going to want to add some text. I would use Fredoka 1. And that's what's being used in this tutorial. Just make the color white and type out your text. So this is going to say code, seeing as this is a code UI. Scale it up again by the corners so it remains the same proportionate. And 
then we are going to center it. Now we are going to duplicate our text and um, we're going to make it say X for the X button. And then we're just going to duplicate the text again, make this a darker color, so a dark blue. And then you can type out your codes text, so it could say follow at username for codes. So it's going to say follow at Slice Melon Art on Twitter. Yeah, so follow at Slice Melon Art on Twitter for codes and then game rewards. You can do whatever you want for that text though. Scale it up, scale it down. Then we're just going to duplicate that bar. Scale that down, and this is going to be the bar where you actually enter your codes. All right, and make that lighter so it's not the same color. And then we're just going to duplicate our text, and then we're going to type out something like enter code here. Then center that text in the box. Then just duplicate that bar yet again. This is going to be our button. Scale it down. So you can use guides to do so, or you can use the buttons at the top next to that download button. Duplicate the text again, and this is going to say redeem. So when a player hits this button, when everything's scripted in your game, they are going to um, get the rewards of their code. So you're going to want to change this to be green instead of blue. Tuna's usually redeem buttons are green. As you can see, we have our codes UI.